Not all exercise is suitable for everyone. To reduce the risk of injury, consult your doctor before participating in this or any other exercise program. If you feel any pain, discomfort, or dizziness, do not continue. The creators, producers, participants, and distributors of this program disclaim any liability or loss in connection with the exercise and instruction herein. Power Yoga Mind and Body. My name is Adrienne Reed. Our theme for today is airplane position. So when you guys are ready, just go to any comfortable seated position. You can go in a child's pose, hips to heels. You can go cross-legged or you can leave your legs straight forward. I want to review those airplane arm positions that we're going to use before we move into any poses. So I want your focus to be on your arms. So go ahead and drop your hands down by your waist. And when you're ready, we're just gonna lean a little bit forward so you're in a comfortable position with your upper body. And we're gonna drop your hands down by your sides. Go ahead and do your palms downward here. So we're gonna call that hips for the rest of this class. So when I say hips, we're gonna drop into this hand position next to your hips. Next, let's go ahead and float up into a shoulder position. So bring your hands a little further forward than your shoulders and then draw the back of your hands upward. So you want those palms downward, you want the back of your hands floating up, adding a little bit more work here, right through your upper back. And then final position, again, we're gonna call that shoulders. Final position, sweep your arms overhead so your arms are right next to your ears. We're gonna call that one ears. So hips, shoulders, ears, the three positions. Notice you should lengthen sit bones to fingertips there, and then exhale, go ahead and release, guys. Nice job. When you're ready, let's go ahead and stand up. Beautiful. So we're going to do a little bit of work with the squat series today, and we're going to make it a moving squat series. So I want you to leave your hands down by your waist, and you're going to try and just sink down your torso about a third of the way. So when you're ready, you're going to bend your knees. You're going to leave your hands down, hip position, come down about a third of the way. And we're going to inhale, hold that, and then exhale, sink your torso about another third of the way down, open up shoulders. Inhale, hold that. And then exhale, sink down the rest of the way with your hips. Let your torso rest right on top of your thighs. Lengthen sit bone to fingertips. And then exhale, draw your torso up. Drop your hands back down next to your hips. Let's move through that four more times. So go ahead and stand up, guys. You don't want to hold that squat too much. <laughs> so when you're ready, let's keep it moving. So inhale, a third of the way down. Hands down, hips. Exhale, hold. Inhale, come on forward. Another third of the way down. And then exhale, hands come forward. And then draw your torso up, hands down by your waist, beautiful. So we're gonna inhale, hold, exhale, move. I'm messing up the breath work here, but stick with me. Inhale, go ahead, exhale, sorry. Float a third of the way down, hands down by your waist. Inhale, hold. Exhale, sweep your hands forward, shoulders, come another third of the way down. Exhale, sweep your hands forward, drop to ears, torso resting right on top of your thighs. And inhale, come on up, release that. Let's go two more of those. Exhale, go ahead and drop a third of the way, hands down, waist, inhale, hold. Exhale, open up, shoulders, back of your hands up. Fall another third, inhale, hold. Exhale, arms come overhead to that ear position, drop your torso down, sink your hips, and inhale, come on up. One more, guys, looking good. Keep your hands down by your waist, here we go. Exhale, fall forward a third of the way, hands down, hips. Inhale, hold. Exhale, sweep another third of the way. Shoulders come, the hands come forward, shoulders. Inhale, hold. Exhale, come the final way. Lengthen. Sit bones to fingertips. And exhale, go ahead and stand up and release that. Shake your legs out a little bit. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and float into a airplane position. So we're gonna go ahead and take a big step back with your left leg. Let's go into triangle. You got it. So from here, I want you to drop your torso down halfway. We're gonna exhale, drop your hands down by your sides. So hips here. Let's go two breaths there. And then exhale, open up shoulders. So hands come a little further forward than your shoulders. Two good breaths there. And then exhale, hands come overhead, ears. Let's go two breaths there. Beautiful, drop your hands to your waist, come on up. 
release that. We're gonna bend that front knee and fall right into a warrior one position. You can either leave your back foot down or pop up on your back toes, it's your choice. We're gonna drop down once again, leave your torso right on top of your right thigh, hands drop down, waist. So hips, we're gonna go five breaths there, sink downward with your hips, lengthen back heel to the crown of your head. Make sure you're active in your arms. Don't let those arms get lazy. Exhale, go, and, go ahead and open up shoulders. Once again, hands a little further forward than your shoulders. Draw the back of your hands up to get that work through your upper back. Keep those hips sinking down. We're going two more breaths there, beautiful. And one last time, exhale, swing your hands overhead, lengthening back heel to fingertips, sinking your hips down into the mat. Beautiful, inhale, draw your torso up, look up, arch back, so come on up, crescent guys, arms overhead. Bend that front knee for me, Lona, so you're still in that warrior pose, you got it. And exhale, go ahead and sweep your hands to your waist, step on up to the front of your mat, shake that out a little bit. Same thing, other side when we're ready, so we're gonna go ahead and start triangle here, so big step back with your right leg. Heel to heel alignment, we're gonna drop your torso down halfway, drop your hands down by your sides. Let's go a couple good breaths there. Hips are nice and square. So you're lengthening sit bones to the crown of your head. Exhale, let's open up shoulders. Back of your hands coming upward to get that additional work through your upper back. Exhale, sweep your arms overhead. So ears, let's go two beautiful breaths there. Lengthening sit bones to fingertips. And then inhale, bring your hands to your waist, draw your torso up. We're gonna bend your front knee and fall into a warrior position. If you want, you can pop your back foot up and, and just stay on your back toes, it's totally up to you. When you're ready, we're gonna draw your torso down, hands down by your hips. So we're gonna go to that hip position. Sink downward with your hips, lengthen back heel to the crown of your head. Make sure you're nice and strong through the arms, so don't let those arms get lazy. You got it, exhale, open up, shoulders, beautiful. And back of your hands drawing upward, get that work through your upper back. We're gonna go three more breaths there, sink down with those hips, so you're working legs and working upper body, beautiful. Exhale, open up, arms come overhead, lengthen back heel to fingertips. So you're sinking downward with those hips, you're lengthening through your entire body, beautiful. Inhale, draw your torso up, keep your arms up overhead, look up, arch back, crescent. Looking good, everybody. And exhale, go ahead and release down, hands to your waist and step on up to the front of your mat. Shake that out a little bit. We're gonna do a little bit of work with the back bend series. I want you guys to lay down on your stomach. Let's have your heads toward the front edge of your mat. While you're here, go ahead and drop to your right ear and I want you to relax just for a couple of breaths here. See if you can let your whole body just let go. Just let everything fall to the mat. Shoulders are relaxed, stomach is relaxed, lower back is relaxed. Let your arms just completely relax here as well. And let's get ready for our back bend series. So when you're ready, I want you to draw your arms overhead. You got it, so we're gonna lengthen toes to fingertips. We're gonna inhale, just look toward the front edge of your mat and deep exhale, and on an inhale, I want arms and legs to come on up, almost like Superman, so come on up. And we're gonna go five good breaths there. Once again, you're lengthening fingertips to toes. You're trying to get that little bit of an arch through your lower back while we're here. After your fifth breath, we're gonna sweep to shoulders. So hands are gonna come a little further forward than your shoulders, back of your hands come up. You may notice that your torso can come up a little bit higher in that as well. So you're working that back, lengthening through this airplane series. Exhale, drop your hands down by your waist. You may notice once again, your torso can come up a little bit higher in that pose. So you're lengthening and opening through your front body. One more time, your hands interlace now behind your back. I want you to just extend and pull your hands towards your toes, beautiful. You should notice a really nice arch through your lower back. You're really lengthening and opening through your front body. You got it, whenever you're tired, go ahead and drop out guys, but I want you to keep with me if you can. Exhale, drop back, hips, so hands drop down on either side of your hips. We're gonna go two breaths there, beautiful. 
Exhale, sweep your hands forward, come on up. Shoulders, hands a little further forward than your shoulders. That's great, everybody. Exhale, bring your arms up overhead. Pick everything up as high as it'll go. Give me three good breaths there, that's fabulous. See if you can get that nice arch through your back. And after your third breath, exhale, lower on down, hands down by your sides. Drop to your left ear, relax a couple of breaths. And you definitely need a break after that one. Wonderful. We're going to do a little bit of ab work. So whenever you guys are ready, go ahead and roll over. And you can keep your heads toward the front edge of your mat. So just go ahead and roll on over to your backs when you're ready. I'm going to give you a choice of a couple of positions that you can put your legs. So when you're ready, go ahead and bend your knees and leave your feet flat on the mat. They should just be comfortably set on the mat. You don't have to pull them too close in towards your sit bones. And they should be about hips width apart. First thing I want you to do is slightly tuck your pelvis so you're getting your lower back flat on the mat and pulling your navel in towards your spine. From there, if you feel good, if you'd like a little bit more, you can bring your legs up to a tabletop position. So your knees come up. And let's go a couple breaths there. You need to maintain that imprint position. If you feel good there, you're gonna go ahead and straighten up your legs. You can even straighten them up at a 45 degree angle. But if that's too much for you, I want you to drop back to tabletop or drop your feet flat to the mat. From there, your hands are coming down by your waist. We're gonna inhale, hold the position and exhale, add that movement in. So we're gonna add airplane into this. So when you're ready, inhale, I want you to bring your shoulders and head up off the mat, hands down by your hips. Exhale, go ahead and open shoulders, inhale, hold. Exhale, come on up overhead by ears. Inhale, hold, and exhale, sweep down by your hips. Let's do that four more times. Keep that spine imprinted, bend your knees if you need. I exhale, sweep open shoulders. Inhale, hold. Exhale, sweep arms up overhead, ears. Inhale, hold. Exhale, drop your hands down by your waist. Beautiful, inhale, hold. Exhale, sweep open shoulders. Keep that navel pulled in toward your spine. Exhale, sweep open ears. Inhale, hold. And exhale, draw your hands down by your waist. Looking good, everybody. Exhale, sweep open shoulders. Beautiful. Exhale, sweep open ears. And exhale, bring your hands down by your waist. Let's get one more of those in. Keep that navel pulled in. Exhale, sweep open shoulders. Inhale, hold. Exhale, sweep arms up overhead. Inhale, hold. And exhale, draw your hands down by your waist. You can drop your hands down to the mat, release your legs, lay down flat on your back. Shake that out a little bit. Nice job, beautiful intense ab work. And adding arms in also extends and works through your upper body. From there, let's keep it moving. We're gonna go into a nice bridge position here. So add a little bit more back bend work in. So when you're ready, bend your knees. Your heels should be right in towards your sit bones and your feet should be comfortably hips width apart. We're gonna have your hands down by your sides. We're gonna go ahead and go five breaths in a nice bridge. So when you're ready, inhale, draw your navel up toward the ceiling. I want you to leave your hands in that hip position. Just relax your palms flat on the mat. You want to make sure that you're working through your front body and relaxing through your back body. So try and engage through your abs, engage through the tops of your thighs and relax your back body. So you don't wanna be pushing up with your back body. You wanna be extending and pulling up through your front body. After your five breaths here, I want you to exhale and sweep your arms open, just shoulders width apart. So flat on the mat again, still keeping that navel pulled upward, still working through your bridge. Try and relax through the glutes, relax through your back body. And let's go a couple good breaths there. If you're feeling good, you can leave them hovering above the mat. If not, drop them down. One more breath here, looking good, everybody. And then exhale, go ahead and sweep your arms overhead. Once again, you can drop them flat to the mat or you can leave them hovering above if you feel good. Try not to lose that stretch through your body. So you really wanna keep your navel floating upward. Keep that work through your abs and quads and relax through your back body. Wonderful. Exhale, we're gonna sweep open back to shoulder position. And let's go a couple good breaths there. Arms hovering above if you feel good. If not, drop them to the mat. And then exhale, drop your hands down, palms. If you want, drop your palms to the mat. We're gonna go two more breaths here. Looking good, everybody. So a nice long bridge with that arm work incorporated in. And then when you're ready, drop your hands to the mat. Inhale, extend your navel up one more centimeter and exhale, slowly lower down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Really take your time with this. 
once you hit the mat, let your tailbone be the very last thing to hit. Straighten up through your legs and relax here a breath or two. So nice and calm. Beautiful. From there, hang out for a breath or two. See if you can come back to a nice calm breath. See if you can inhale and breathe in that cool air and relax and bring your body temperature down. From there, go ahead and draw your arms overhead. We're going to use the strength of your arms and abs. Come on up to sitting. And when you're ready, you guys are going to spin around and face the other direction for me. Let's do a little bit of work to just relax through the shoulders. So a nice easy movement here. We're just gonna inhale, draw your shoulders up by your ears. So any comfortable cross-legged position and exhale, roll your shoulders back and down. And just do that a couple more times, moving at your pace. So just moving a little bit through the arms and shoulders. Make sure your spine is nice and straight here. And keep that movement with your breath. Wonderful, exhale, go ahead and release that stretch. We're gonna stay in that cross-legged position. You're gonna swing your right arm right across the front of your body and grab your right elbow with your left hand. So lengthen, other way for me, Diane, that's the way. Inhale, you're gonna just stretch that arm nice and long and exhale, look out over your right shoulder. So once again, nice and straight through the spine, you should feel a nice stretch right across the front of your shoulder. And let's go three more breaths there. Nice and long through the spine relaxed breath, trying to bring that body temperature down. Beautiful, after your third breath, open up your arms nice and wide, stretch that out a little bit, and let's do the same thing on the other side. So when you're ready, left arm sweeps in front, grab your left elbow with your right hand, pull that arm long and a little bit toward the wall behind you, and you're looking over your left shoulder. Nice calm breath there, looking good everybody. And let's go two more breaths there, nice and long through the spine, long through the arms. And exhale, go ahead and release that, shake that out a little bit. Let's keep with shoulders here. So when you're ready, we're gonna float into an eagle arm position. I'll come up front so you guys can see what we're doing. So we're gonna float right into an eagle position. Let's bring your right arm in front, your left elbow right on top, and we're gonna sweep your arms and wrap them around one another. First position, we're gonna inhale and draw your elbows up toward the ceiling. So you're nice and straight through the spine, drawing those elbows, elbows upward. Nice calm face, nice quiet breath. Try and give a little bit of release from the work that we just did with our airplane positions. Exhale, go ahead and bring your elbows right in by your rib cage, and we're gonna sweep your hands forward. So you should feel a nice stretch across the front of that left shoulder. Looking good, guys. Inhale, sweep your arms up. You're gonna drop your left hand off to the left-hand side. Use your right arm to kind of pull that arm down so you're getting a little bit of a stretch, changing the location of that shoulder stretch. Looking good. Exhale, sweep back up to center and open up your arms nice and wide. Same thing, other direction. So left arm's gonna come in front, right arm's coming on top of your left. Wrap your arms around one another, and same thing, elbows start up toward the ceiling. So a nice stretch across the front of your right shoulder. Two more breaths there, nice and relaxed. So straight through the spine, calm through the breath. After your second breath, drop those elbows down by your rib cage and extend your arms forward. Two more breaths there, looking good everybody. So nice relaxed stretching here. And exhale, draw your hand up. We're gonna drop your right hand off to the right hand side. So your left elbow is supporting your right elbow and your left hand is pulling your right arm down. And let's go three more good breaths there. Wonderful, exhale, go ahead and release that. Straighten up your arms, shake that out a little bit. When you're ready, we're gonna fall into a Paschimottanasana, so a forward fold. 
Nice job. So straighten up through your legs. Make sure your feet are engaged so your toes are pointed upward. You can move that flesh out from underneath your sit bones if you need to. And we're gonna move through the airplane series here. Now that we've relaxed a little bit through the arms, we're gonna go back to some airplane positions. And we're gonna do just what we did earlier, almost in a squat position. So hands are gonna drop down by your waist. We're gonna inhale, fall forward a third of the way. And then exhale, we're gonna fall another third of the way. Drop your hands to shoulders, inhale, hold. And then exhale, fall the rest of the way down. Arms come overhead and then inhale, come on back to center. So we're gonna keep through that movement. We're gonna go through that five more times here, guys. So when you're ready, hands are down by your waist. Inhale, fall forward about a third of the way. Hands down by your waist and hold. Exhale, open shoulders, fall another third of the way. Inhale, hold. And exhale, arms come over your ears, fall into that forward fold. Beautiful, and come on back up, hands down by your waist. Let's get a couple more of those in, here we go. Inhale, drop a third of the way, hands down by hips. Exhale, hold, inhale, come on back up. I know I'm messing the breath up here, Carrie, sorry. You got it. And then exhale, sweep your arms overhead. Inhale, hold, I'm getting it right, here we go. Come on back up, exhale, release back, hands by your waist. So exhale, fall a third of the way, hands down by your hips. Inhale, hold. Exhale, sweep open shoulders, fall another third of the way. Inhale, hold. Exhale, fall the final. Arms by your ears, inhale, hold, and exhale, sweep your torso up. Let's get two more of those in, guys. Exhale, fall a third of the way, hands down by your hips. Inhale, hold. Exhale, sweep open shoulders. Another third of the way, inhale, hold, sorry. Exhale, come the rest of the way, draw your arms by your ears, fall into a nice forward fold. Inhale, hold, and exhale, sweep up the rest of the way. One more, guys, doing great. Exhale, fall a third of the way, hands down by your waist, inhale, hold. Exhale, sweep open shoulders. Inhale, hold. Exhale, fall forward, forward fold. Let's get 10 good breaths in a forward fold. So go ahead and drop your hands down to your feet, down to the mat, whatever feels good for you. And just let your body fall into a nice forward fold here. Nice calm breath, nice length through the legs. Inhale, see if you can lengthen your spine through that. And exhale, see if you can fall a little further in. In every forward fold, the more you flex through your feet, the more you'll feel through your calves as well as your hamstrings. So you do what feels good for you. We're gonna go two more breaths here. Looking good, everybody. Nice job, Carrie. Wonderful, and after your second breath, come on up. And let's get a little bit of a twist to relax here. So when you're ready, go ahead and lay down flat on your back. You got it, we're gonna bend your knees, pull them in toward your chest and just rock side to side, gently massage your lower back. And when you're ready, we're gonna roll your knees off to the right hand side. I want your knees and arms off to the right so your palms are stacked on top of one another, your shoulders and hips are on top of one another. There you go, so you're rolling all the way to the right. You got it. Let's get a little bit of a twist in here and we'll be all set for today. Inhale, I want you to bring your fingertips up toward the ceiling, so left arm comes up. Exhale, go ahead and float open into that twist. Inhale, come on back up to center. And exhale, drop your palms together. And let's do that four more times on this side and we'll hit the other side. Inhale, extend your fingertips up toward the ceiling. Exhale, open up into a nice twist, relax through those arms. Inhale, come on back up to center and exhale, hands come together. Inhale, extend fingertips upward. Exhale, sweep your hands flat, roll those shoulder blades open. Inhale, extend your hands up to center. And exhale, palms come together. One more, guys. Inhale, sweep your fingertips up to the ceiling. Exhale, roll open into a nice twist. Relax through the shoulders. Inhale, come on back up to center and exhale, palms come together. When you're ready, roll back towards center, bend your knees, pull them in towards your chest, rock side to side, gently massage that lower back. Looking good, everybody. And from here, let's do that same series on the other side. So roll your knees off to the left-hand side, stack your hips on top of one another. Also roll your hands off to the side so palms are together. So shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked. When you're ready, inhale, right hand extends up to the ceiling. Exhale, let that arm float open, try and get shoulder blades down and flat. Inhale, sweep back up to center. And exhale, palms come together. Let's get four more of those in. Inhale, sweep up to center. 
Exhale, go ahead and open up, extend, relax through the shoulders. Inhale, hand comes up to center, and exhale, drop that down. Inhale, extend up to center. Exhale, roll open into that beautiful twist. Inhale, come on back up to center. And exhale, drop back down. Two more guys, doing great. Inhale, sweep up nice and relaxed. Exhale, roll open, sink it in. Inhale, come on back up to center. And exhale, drop your hands down. Beautiful, one more. Inhale, extend your arms up. Exhale, roll open, get that beautiful twist through your back. Inhale, come on back up to center. And exhale, drop palms together. When you're ready, roll to the side. Back to center, sorry, bend your knees, pull them in towards your chest, and let's get ready for Shavasana. When you're ready, straighten up your legs, lay down flat on your back. Beautiful. The final pose of class is the most important in yoga, called Shavasana. This pose is what you've worked the entire class to achieve, an exploration of stillness in action. As you lay on your mat, allow your entire body to come to rest. Let your feet flop open. Bring your hands by your sides, palms upward. Close your eyes. Let your mind and body relax completely. The purpose of this time is to just be. Be still in your heart, still in your body, still in yourself. Try to remain in this pose for five to 10 minutes, finding health and harmony within. Thank you for your time and hard work today. Namaste. If you'd like to continue to improve your strength, stamina, flexibility, and balance, order Power Yoga for Athletes. This hour-long video is for yogis who embrace a more active lifestyle. Call 1-866-629-1591 or visit adrianreed.com. For tips and secrets on Power Yoga, visit WUSF.org and click on the Power Yoga icon. You'll find frequently asked questions and show information from Adrian Reed. 